Hey, good morning. It's Edna Keep here live with Mindset Monday. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, becoming your wrong decisions. I see a lot of people that uh, do something wrong and then feel like they're stuck there forever. Either, either the image of themselves or a challenge that they have in their life that uh, they think it's just something they have to live with. Uh, so I'd like to challenge you to choose not to become your wrong decisions. Remember, if you need my help uh, with getting your mindset straight or building your uh, real estate portfolio, reach out to me at edna at edtokeep.com. So what does that mean when it says becoming your wrong decisions? Well, I see people um, building their whole life around a decision they made for themselves that were wrong, was wrong. For example, they might've went to school, spent you know four years on a university education, only to come out and find out that they don't actually like the work. So you can choose to stay there, make everybody's life miserable around you by not enjoying your work. Or you can just say, wrong decision, I'm gonna change it and make a different one. Maybe go back to university, take, a, take something else. Or maybe practice that profession for a while as a volunteer to see if it's even something you like. Um, so many people think that uh, they have to, you know, get university educated before they can ever get any kind of job. You know what? This is this is back to networking, which we talked about earlier. Properly, you'll find people who are in the business that you want to do, whether that's entrepreneur, real estate entrepreneur, nurse, doctor, whatever, any one of those professions. Reach out and talk to people about it. Find out what they love about it, what they hate about it, what they do differently if they were to start all over again, what they advise their own kids. Um, and then uh, I think one of the biggest things to do is take advice from people who you kind of admire. So if you are if you ask somebody, uh, you know, maybe, maybe just say you have an aunt that is a nurse and you're thinking of becoming a nurse. But she's, um, after you talk to her and she's really miserable and not happy and everything else, but she, you know, whatever advice she gives you, you know, you don't have to take everybody's advice. Take the parts that resonate with you and make your own decision. Um, she might say, might have said, oh, I hate my life, but you know what, it's the best money I can make or something like that. I don't know, making it up. But um, you've got to make those decisions for yourself and you don't have to stick with, with them. I know people who have, um, you know, maybe had weight challenges and their whole family is overweight. So they just make that decision in their own mind that they'll always be overweight and then thus they are. Um, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can make different decisions for yourself. So challenge for you this week, where are places in your life that you've made maybe a wrong decision in the past that you're still living with? And how can you fix it? How can you start uh, getting out of that definition of living within your wrong decision? And again, if you need my help uh, with your mindset or with your real estate portfolio, reach out to me at edna at edna Bye for now.